Hello everybody, it's Johnny Fire Flame talking and today we will continue our little let's watch reaction thingy of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 5. Today, episode 16, Made in Manhattan. And apparently that is a pun on a movie I think called Made in Manhattan. I'm not really sure and also I think it was Made in Manhattan, not Manhattan. I'm a bit tired right now. But I thought, what the heck, I don't want to be too late with the reaction, I'd rather just see it, and stuff. <laughs> and as far as I know, this is the last of the rarity trilogy of, of episodes that we would get here in this season. I, I, I'm not saying that, um, that we won't have any more rarity episodes or that I don't want any, just that it's the last of this little trio thing that I've been told it would be. I'm just rambling at this point. Let us begin, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 16, Made in Mainland. 3, 2, 1, go! Alright, so we start in Twilight's Place. I actually see your books this time. What? Is Twilight sick of books? No! Is there something wrong, Twilight? But you're reading. I've read all these books already. All of them? Well, and I shouldn't be surprised. And I'm bored. I want to do something. Things have been so slow around here. And Twilight! Twilight! She was on it. Oh, Twilight, darling. Oh, thank goodness. It seems that my... <sighs> Got here as fast as I could. Oh, Applejack. Applejack of Rarity. Oh, the map! Finally, we've been summoned. I wonder where the map wants us to. Uh, Twilight? Your butt ain't glowing. Sorry. Only those two. Uh, or Twilight. <laughs> yeah, so finally the map is, is being active again. Oh, I can't remember exactly when the last time the map activated, but this is. Oh, I'm glad that the that the map is used more because I was afraid it was going to only be like two and around that number of uses for the for the map. So okay, so I think according to the title, it will be a Rarity Jack episode in Manhattan. Will we actually make Manhattan a nice place? That will be interesting to see. All right, let's see. Where do you think? Let us see. <laughs> Manhattan! We've been called to Manhattan! Oh, I've simply been dying to go back for a visit. And now, I return with a purpose. Hmm. Okay! So you've been summoned to this particular purpose. neighborhood here. We're off to solve a friendship problem in one of the busiest and most vibrant cities in all of Equestria. Isn't this exciting? Uh, maybe a bit too exciting Seems for your case, Rarity, right dear. Don't it? Map calling me to a big city like Manhattan? Yeah. You may be more of a country pony at heart, Applejack, but the map picked you two because you're the best ponies to tackle this particular mission. Yeah, well, Applejack, you have been in Manhattan. That's supposed to be. That neighborhood probably has twice as many ponies as all of Ponyville. <laughs> more like three times. Why, it's not only home to the haypacking district, it's also home to the fashion district. <gasps> oh, that explains it. Oh, hmm. Twilight. Well, though, She's really been. She really has been left out by the map. Manhattan on our last visit. It's such an exciting city, and there's still so much I'd like to do there. So many museums and historical landmarks to visit, not to mention all the libraries. Well, technically, you can but still go. Your mission. Don't worry about me. You can't go on a specific mission, but you can still visit it. You keep me busy. <laughs> you still want to use comic mm -hmm. books. I but like I said, Eric Applejack has been there before, social. which it was little. Oh, we're going to meet the oranges? Babs? No telling how long we'll be in Maine. Coco? I sure hope Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle aren't too upset. Hmm. Looks like the old same old. That's the train station. With no ra rainbow to be a rebel. Are we going to have a reprise of generosity? <laughs> Funny. Are you alright? Uh what? Ponies move so fast here. 
Not at all like back home. Eyes peeled, ears open. Eyes peeled, ears open. You didn't have this problem last time we were here. Huh. Remember, Applejack, you're in the big city now. Yeah, she isn't no that used to the city here. life. You've got to walk with speed and confidence. Like, yeah, see, she was there when she was younger, but that was only for like a week. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Oh wait, that's only if she walks in front of a taxi. Never mind. How am I supposed to help solve a? Yes, I think this is the one. No, no. Excuse me. That hat clashes with your mane. Not to mention, it's far too large and will undoubtedly obstruct your vision. Oh, dear. Parity's fashion sense kicks in. Oh, Applejack! What good timing! Oh. Here, this will do splendidly. Oh, it's a lot. She just gives it to her. Like for it. Oh no, no, please, please keep it. I can always make another. Thank you. Generosity. Our purpose here. Yeah. I not. I don't think you're here to solve a fashion problem, Rarity. We just saved that poor pony from committing a terrible crime of fashion. That eyebrow. I love Applejack's eyebrow. A new hat, and then their friendship could have been ruined forever. It's possible. Did your cutie mark glow signifying a job well done? Nope. No, I suppose it didn't. Nope. Still, a disaster was averted. Averted? You just lost me a paying customer. Exactly. Oh my. Oh, I, I am so, so sorry. You created a I problem by helping created. another. Uh, please accept my sincerest ha. apologies for the misunderstanding. And might I add what a lovely establishment you have here. <laughs> Be quiet and walks away. All right, Applejack. <laughs> the search continues. You should calm down a bit more. Uh, excuse me, I was just wondering. Uh, friendship problem, any pony? See, we've been sent here to. A, a map summoned us and. Uh, oh, that was a dapper design. Just take a moment to. Friendship advice! Any pony looking for friendship advice? It doesn't work like that, Good Rary. Grief. This isn't working. <sighs> I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. To be honest, I'm still not even sure what the map called me here for. Again, you've been here before. Jack. The map picked us for a reason. Although, how am I supposed to uncover that reason? I haven't a clue. Actually, when it comes to all the main six, those two are the one who are spinning main hat the most. Holy jeez. Please help us restore our long lost but beloved tradition, the Midsummer Theater Revival. There's a guest performance by a local theater troupe, the Method Mayors, as well as games, food, and much, much more. This event promises to bring our Brooklyn neighbors together and restore our sense of community, but there's so much to do and we need your help. Huh. <gasps> Darling, this is it! The contact on the flyer is Coco Palmer! Hey, Coco! She's the one who got a job making costumes for that designer friend of yours. Don't you see? This must be why the map called us here. Oh, and you were so worried. Well, I suppose it's at least worth looking into. That is, if we can ever get off this street corner. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it's because uh, Denmark cities are in, um, that I much different from American cities, but flyer. that's... Quite it's no way as crowded as that place. And I go go. And I was specifically summoned here to be of service. And you, my dear friend, are in need of help. It's no coincidence, darling. It's fate. Relax. This midsummer theater revival. What is it exactly? An outdoor play held at the community park. Many moons ago, local theater troops would perform. And ponies in the neighborhood would help make the costumes and design set pieces. Ah, Billy Coco. To share during the performance. Hey, that's we the same pony as the Rarity Hill. Each company. Kind of reminds me of Ponyville. It sounds lovely, darling. It was up until several moons ago. Oh. What happened? That's Charity Kindheart. She was a well-known costume designer on Bridal Way. Ah. She started the Midsummer Theater Revival as a way to share her passion for theater with the neighborhood. No matter how busy she was, she always made time for the revival. But when she moved away to be closer to her grandfillies, the neighborhood lost the special tradition she had started. And worse, 
the sense of community it fostered. Uh. Hey, I'm trotting here. <laughs> no pony <laughs> there it was. There it was. I've been trying to, but I've just gotten a last minute request to alter costumes for the cast of My Fair Philly, and I'm afraid I haven't made My much Fair progress. Philly. Is that a is There's that a, so much to do to is that a parody of my pretty revival, woman? And my flyers haven't attracted a single volunteer. Say no more. You finish. Oh, it's not even called my pretty woman, just pretty woman. Never mind. Your main and ponies who want to lend my fair lady, that's it. Make sure of it. Getting my references you wrong. Will? And I made a bunch of content. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't wear boots. I find they chafe my calves when I walk. It's just an expression. <laughs> oh, Coco. So you see, the method mares are only available on this one day, and we need all the help we can get with preparation. Yeah, not a good time right now. <laughs> what am I saying? It's never a good time. Hmm. Local newspaper doesn't help. Well, she looked a bit like Babs. I got my own problems. You think I got hours to dedicate to some pony? Hey, that's a tourist pony. Ah, uh, yeah. Charity's Midsummer Theater Revival. Such wonderful memories. Yeah. So you'll help us? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I run a very important oat and hay import-export business. What? I can't spare even a moment for such things. <sighs> this is I think he's nightmare. fucking with you. Oh, not at all, darling. It's quite lovely. I think she was talking about the Midsummer Theater revival. I well, think it's the a bit too distracted. My fair filly, but it barely started the costumes for the revival, and the method mares are coming to the park tomorrow for a costume fitting and rehearsal. Well, I could help you with the costumes. Yeah. But what are we going to do about the rest? The park is in desperate need of repairs, and the sets still need to be built. Well, I know a thing or two about building and fixing things. Yeah. It's kind of. How many well, times did you I build the barn? Could be the reason the map called me here. You see, dear, we went out looking for volunteers when all the help you need is right here. Uh-huh. The map wouldn't have chosen just Applejack and me if it was more than we could handle. Everything is going to be just fine. And also chose you because Perhaps of shipping purposes. Soon. Oh my. Does no one hold this place in check? Oh dear, you're right. Are you sure you can manage more this More weeds in my backyard on a hot uh, summer day. There's a lot to do. But Rarity's is right. The map wouldn't have called us here if we weren't up for the challenge. You two go on and take care of the costumes. I'll see you at the dress rehearsal. Oh, and maybe you can have the same effect as Equestria Girls in the first movie, where some see one doing a bunch of good things and then we'll join in. You know? Maybe. Yep, that seems about right. <laughs> yep, that is that is especially about right. Oh god, when you Try to clean up the garden and all the weeds seems to be in incountable numbers, just... <gasps> you shrink your hat! Oh no! Especially that is annoying when you pull it as much as you can and then just only the middle comes off and it's impossible to take the rest, just... Oh my god. Oh poor HA, she looks completely destroyed. Not as much as that bench, bench does, Jesus. I know it looks bad, but I'm moving as fast as I can. Oh, Don't Applejack. Worry. We've still got plenty of time. Everything's going to be... Um, excuse me. Is this where the Midsummer Theatre revival is supposed to be, par chance? Uh, we're here for the dress rehearsal. Oh, oh God, yes. Snoopy French We've ponies! Just put the finishing touches on the costumes. At least those look professional. We'll do a dry run of the mm, I can feel the snootiness from here, from the other side of the screen. No, wait! I haven't got a chance to. Holy, that was quick reactions there, Applejack. Reinforce the stage yet? Oh my. How could you? How could anyone expect her to manage it? She's one pony. I just wanted to live up to Charity's example, to bring my neighborhood together again. The park is still a mess. We haven't even thought about what refreshments to serve during the performance. And even if we had, we don't have a stage for the method mares to perform on. 
It's hopeless. Just hopeless. The true, true friend helps a friend in me. I don't understand. The map summoned us here to solve a friendship problem. We've clearly found it. But why did it send the two of us? Why not Twilight? I'm sure she could have used her magic to transform this park in an instant. I've been thinking the same thing. I mean, I can at least see why you're here. Coco's your friend, and you have an eye for costumes and all. But me? I was never going to be able to finish a project this big. Well, return to Ponyville as failures. Congratulations, Applejack. You've been promoted to, app to a Rarity's drama couch. Now, hold on there. I'm not suggesting we pack up and go home. <laughs> then what are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we start worrying about what we can't do and start doing what we can. I think I've got a plan. It won't be anything big or fancy, but it'll be something. And something's gotta be better than nothing, right? I suppose so. If That's I remember correctly, Applejack is good with plans. Sorta. I'm so glad to see Best Pony back in action. Alright, y'all. It's ready. And yes, I mean Applejack. Should we go ahead and start? Let us see. Excuse me? I'm Charity Kindheart. I'm here about the open. By the way, Charity Kindheart, what a name. Samples of my work. In a good way. I'm sorry I'm late. I had the hardest time finding my way here. I just moved here. And I keep getting mixed up by the street names. I had a map. But I dropped it in a puddle. The Best acting ever, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> by the way, it must be awkward I acting see. and acting. What yes. is that? I don't know, so that looks like some kind of play. <laughs> <laughs> is that Bonbon bon in a costume? Alright, oh, well, oh, I suppose we could stay for a minute. <laughs> it sounds like she has a pota a potato in her mouth. Send him in. I'm sorry. But based on these samples, I just don't think this is the place for you. <gasps> don't get me wrong. You're not even as close to drama as Rarity. I I'm sorry, lady, but, but you're not as close. Theatrical than avant-garde. Have you considered costume design? I have a contact on Bridal Way. <gasps> you're interested? I can put you in touch with him. So it's the story of Cherry's... And the Charity's... Uh... <laughs> Start in the city, okay. Yay, everyone's come. See, it doesn't have to be giant, big, and professional. Just a small thing is enough. Is that you? Hello, Miss Pear Blossom. I didn't see. Oops. Oh, let me help you, dear. Are these the costumes you've been working on? Yes, I was supposed to be finished by now, <laughs> but there's just so much to do, and I still have a few last minute alterations to make before opening night. I'm sorry I couldn't get enough tickets for every pony in the neighborhood. I hope Mr. Pear Blossom wasn't too disappointed. Is it a good and idea for standing right in the street? I just thought of that. Oh, my dear Philly, don't worry about that. No, yeah, no. <laughs> we should be with you in spirit. Thank you. You've all made me feel so welcome here and have become like family to me. I just wish I could share this experience with you. I guess he's off work. Yeah, what's going on? It's the Midsummer Theatre Revival. The Method Man's up before me. <sighs> the Revival. <laughs> yeah, my pop used to bring me. Aww. It's so nice of you to put on and the stage the neighborhood. That's actually I very adorable. Help every pony's help. Right, that's the dapper pony. I know it's not right away, but... Oh, pistosh. Perfect deal. Where did you get the popcorn? Oh, I guess there was a popcorn machine that, that drove oh, in. You're such a dear. Thank you. This is so nice. Haven't seen the neighborhood this friendly since Charity moved away. Oh, that was, it's really adorable. Kind of cheesy, Thank but adorable. You, fillies and gentle coats. Please give a warm welcome to the one who made this entire event possible. Our neighbor, Coco Pomel. Yay, Coco! Encore! Encore, I say! Encore! Thank you so much for coming. The Midsummer Theatre Revival was always something that meant so much to me, and it seems it means quite a lot to all of you as well. I really can't take all the credit, though. My dear friends Rarity and Applejack helped me oh, ever Applejack. so much. Oh, she isn't used to standing in front of crowds. 
few costumes. Oh, shucks. I just happened to be good with a hammer is all. To be honest, we had much bigger plans to start. When those fell through, we decided to simplify. This here was the result. Oh, don't be so modest. Coco and I were lost. You bet your boots we were. <laughs> boots. <laughs> we just wanted to see how much we enjoyed the Midsummer Theater revival and how much that it inspired us. Oh, yeah? I used to think that to help my community, I had to do something big. <laughs> and let's face it, in this day and age, who has the time for such a commitment? But here, you did something as simple as building a stage and putting on a play and... <laughs> Look at how it's brought every pony together. I saw Coco's flyers for volunteers, but didn't think anything I'd have time to do would be that useful. Now I wish I'd offered to help. Even if it was just pulling a few weeds or planting a few flowers. Not sure if you noticed, but the park is far from being fixed up. Mm -hmm. I imagine if you look around, you'll find there's lots of little ways for you to get involved in changing this place for the better. And I will. And I don't think we'll be alone. <laughs> oh, a job well done, ladies. <laughs> we did it. Shippy. It'll make perfect sense. Sorry, I was just, huh? I was just uh, repeating the echoes I heard from beyond. I know why the map called you here. You do? If Twilight had used her magic to fix the park, it wouldn't have fixed the real problem. Which is that these Manhattan ponies didn't think they had time to do something for their community. But by building that stage and making sure the play went on, you showed them that just by doing something small, you can make a big difference. Well, I'll be. Well, that just went chills. You have more in common with the Manhattan ponies than you thought. <laughs> oh, God, I can feel <laughs> the ship being oh, fueled so, from here. I'd sure like to head back to Ponyville on the next train. I want to check in with Apple Bloom and find out how the Sisterhood Social turned out. Oh, that's oh, yeah. that happened. My dear. Just as soon as I stop that pony in the shop over there from purchasing that dreadfully hideous god, Zara, you're making a terrible mistake! Stop! In the name of fashion! Uh. Alright, going out here. That was... That was an adorable episode. It wasn't... Uh, maybe it's because I am a bit tired right now. Uh, but it wasn't as... It didn't catch my attention as, as much as the last two episodes, but I still think that this one was worth uh, is worth the watch. It's not, before I say anything, in my opinion, it's not a bad episode at all. Again, maybe it's just because I'm a bit tired. Um, but I must, must admit it was a bit weird to see that Applejack was suddenly uh, in a bad situation when it came to going around in a town, like in a big city, and... Uh, um, Going in front of an audience and all that. But maybe it's because the fact that it is the city. Like back home she used to do stuff and could go in front of ponies because it was it was such a small town. It was pretty much all the ponies that she knew that she stood in front of. But here she stands in front of a bunch of city ponies she has she has never met before. But I also really like the moral. Like the idea of that you don't need something grand. You don't need something big and bombastic to uh, to make something great. You don't. You, you just. You just need to give a little heart. A little, a simple thing, a, a, a little, a little seedling can grow into a big tree, the biggest tree ever, with a bunch of branches, bunch of green, uh, flashy leaves, and a stump that will never fall. I have no idea why I just went that deep into that metaphor. Oh man, but I like this episode. Again, I'm a bit tired, so I didn't get the full enjoyment out of it, but I still enjoyed it. Nothing, uh, apart from the weird Applejack situation, I can't really think of. Uh, oh, and uh, Rarity's over, <laughs> um, over focus on the the fashion problems around and such. Apart from those two things, I didn't find too many problems. Coco was adorable. Missed an opportunity to see Babs and the uh, and the oranges. That would be kind of cool to see them, but I'm not too bothered by it. But yeah, my rating for 
My Little Pony Season 5, Episode 16, uh, Made in Manhattan, is an 8, an 8 out of 10. Yeah, an 8 out of 10. It missed, it missed a few spots, some things were weird, but otherwise I think it was a lovely episode with a, with a good amount of heart at the end. So yeah, I liked it. So um, as always, my dear friends, thank you uh, very much for watching. Please tell me in the comments what you thought about the episode and what you thought about my reaction. Uh, please tell me both the negative and positive so I can use it all to grow and evolve into a better entertainer for you guys. So as always, my dear friends, thank you very much for watching. My name is me, Johnny Fireflame, and I'll see you guys next time.